Uh, Steve. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Ron. I got a question for Fezzy. He's right here, and he's angry. Fez, calm down, relax. Um, if you were able to travel through time in a time machine, find your younger self, and without telling him that you were him, would you have sex with your younger self? That's interesting, Fez. My answer would be no. I wouldn't have sex with my younger self. Why? I d I've never had a time where I felt I was all that attractive. So I don't think... I, I wouldn't be attracted to my younger self Let me even you, then. So do you feel that you're too ugly to jerk off yourself? Yeah, yeah. I so you don't jerk off? No, I do jerk off. But if you're with your younger self, it would just be like you jerking off. Yeah, but it would still be like jerking off another person. Right, you. So I think if you jerk off, then you would have no problem having sex with your younger self. And you certainly wouldn't be able to come out of it and say that you were gay. Because you wouldn't be. Because you were with yourself. You were dancing with yourself. That's what you would be doing, Fez. You so even if I had sex with me, yeah. it still wouldn't count as having gay sex? No. Does jerking off count as having gay sex? No. That's having sex with yourself. Now, this is the thing for Fez. That thinking is so hard for him. You watch him wince. We should be on TV. Just to see him, like, what does this mean? Break. Are you still a big fan of Last Man on Earth? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. You don't think it's fallen off a little bit since they added all the new characters? No, I, th I still think Will Forte is hysterical. I thought maybe you liked him because he was alone and you could think of him as a gay way. And now he looks like, you know, king of an orgy. Um, let's suppose you were in the Will Forte thing and there was, you're the last man on earth and there's women there. Would you fuck them so the species could go on? No, I wouldn't. It would be a responsibility to the human species. No, what I would have to do is be like a sperm donor and then just give them an eyedropper do you, to try to inseminate themselves. Do you think that's how it works, Mr. Science? Well, I've never had sex, so I don't know how any of it actually works. You're not familiar with the sperm and the egg? No one ever even taught you that? Yeah, I know about that. You think you can hit it with an eyedropper? Uh, Greg. Hey, Ron. Hey, Bez. Good to be the end of the show. Uh, first time actually calling you guys. Um, uh, if you remember, there was a show called Z Rock that was on ISC for a long time, for at least three years. That was seasons. Big J's and show. Exactly. Now, if you remember correctly, Big J did play a gay man in that show. So I don't know why. I, didn't I don't say know the whole it. situation. I don't know the whole situation. But why are you I upset figured, about that? I well, don't know what to say to the caller. Why not? Because I didn't say it. So if information comes up that you're not familiar with, it scares you? Not so much the information of just not thinking well. Not being a good thinker? What he's saying is Big J played a gay. And that should make you like him. I just, I don't know what he did with the character. You don't watch your friend's shows? I hadn't seen that one, no. I loved it. He, this was his character. He just goes like this. Hello, everybody! This is how Fez talks. Now I'm against it. Now that I know what it was. But you used to do that, Fez. That was your actual character. Yeah. And then I stopped doing it. Let me just tell you something, Fezzy. Maybe it'll help you with your time travel thing. When you time travel, to go back to fuck yourself. From the floors of Tokyo, or down in London town to go, with a record selection and the mirror reflection, I'm dancing with myself. Maybe that'll help you when you go back to fuck young 
Fez Watley. So let's sing another drink. Cause it'll give me time to think. If I if Fez just announced today that if he had the ability to time travel instead of just aerobatics, which he's into right now, but if he could time travel, he would go back in time and blow six-year-old Fez Watley. And when the police burst in, you yell, relax, I'm a time traveler. This is just me masturbating. <laughs> Then what could happen, Fez, if you are arrested and you get a, a jury trial? Use your time machine to come back 12 times from different spots in the future and then say, I'm here to judge myself. That would literally be a jury of my peers. Actually, if you went back in time, it would be your better. What, was it, what year would you say was the peak of Fez Watley? Oh, um, ninety-five. Take, take your time. Ninety-five was your peak. I would say ninety-five or two thousand. Trying to remember. What made it your peak? I was just. I think ninety-five is when it makes you fez came out. <laughs> came out where? When it was released, when it when the single dropped, it was just played on your on our own show. Um, Tony, down in Virginia way. Hey, buddy. Hey, Fez. I have an honest question. If you could take the time machine back to talk to the younger self, would you convince yourself to come out as being gay as a young adult instead of an older adult as you did? Well, I would tell my younger self that you're gay. My younger self wouldn't believe it. So it would take some convincing by the older self to get the younger self to come out. If anybody can convince you, it's you, Fez. All right, well, I'll be 1995 Fez Watley, and you be elderly Fez Watley, and come back in time and meet me. All right. Hey, Fez, it's me, Fez. Why is there an old woman in my trailer? <laughs> I'm you. Yeah, you're me. It's gonna be like cocks going everywhere. I wish I was taking a gin shower. <laughs> I have to talk to you about something important. Why? Because I need to tell you that you're gay. Yes, I play it on the radio from 6 to 10 every morning. I'm gay. Hi. No, the rest of the day and the rest of the week as well. You're gay. And you should try to work on that so that you don't wait so long to come out. What I'll do is be a big over-the-top gay like I'm doing now and getting paid for. Tell me I don't get... When did I start wearing that uh, comb-over? <laughs> I'm at my always... peak. My peak of boo -hoo. You, I can't imagine what your younger self would feel. Yeah, he would be. It's like the probably. I'm, the I'm trying to think if he would be shocked or not, because you know phobias it's were always not there. He, it's you. Yeah, you are he. No, the stuff that we talked about yesterday about you dropping the fez moniker off the air. You're going to start and do that. Yeah. Even around here? Yeah. Who have you done it with so far? Um, I left a message for Wiki. Uh -huh. And I was, I didn't use the real name, but I made sure I just said, it's me. And didn't use the <laughs> That's Fez not name. It. That's like if you went in and said that you were going to admit to murder, <laughs> but you didn't say anything and just figured the way I looked, I thought they picked up on it. So if they want me, they know where to find me. Hey, dude, it's me, T-Bone. T-Bone. Peaking Fez, 1995. Peaking around the corner. Would you tell yourself that it's all downhill from here? 
No, I would... Why is your leg going a mile a minute? I'm nervous. Hey, look at me. I still use carts. <laughs> Tell me about the future. What happens to carts? <laughs> You don't want to know, because you love using carts. Show me pictures of my wife and children that I've always dreamed of. That didn't happen either. Tell me, how's my dad doing? You're gonna, you're not gonna have a very good February 2011. Would you tell yourself stuff like that? Oh yeah. Yeah, because that would make you comfortable. You know you enough. If you could find out your death date right now, would you do it? No, no. But that would mean that you could live every other day of your life feeling great about it. You're like, I will go up in that plane because I'm sure I won't die. I know how I die. Time Murdered feel by my fucking partner. Time feels like it goes by so fast now that uh, that would make it even quicker. Time takes a cigarette and puts it in your mouth. Look, this Joe Liss is like, oh, this overrated bastard. <laughs> You pull a finger, then another finger, and cigarettes. Eggs are here. Are you going to do this today at 6.45 uh, or whatever? Yeah, and I, I also have to go get a broom. All I have is a Swiffer. Why'd you point at your dick when you said that? I think we got a break again, right? I'm hungry. I guess it's the Equinox. I know we got eggs. <laughs> That's always a good start. If we were on Survivor right now, we'd be so fucking thrilled. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Tony's got a question for you, Fez. Sure. <laughs> it's right this hey, way, Tony. Hey, is it possible that sometime in the near future you're going to go back and blow yourself as a kid, and maybe that's the event that you have no memory of. Would you rather blow yourself or get blown by yourself? I would rather get blown by myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is... There it is. Seriously, if the fucking teacher doesn't fucking yell at us for teasing the retard, I don't know what will. But your... Uh, your... Comfort with just asking, answering the questions you've been told is just fucking mind blowing. Got blown by myself. Is that a, is that a correct answer? <laughs> I'd rather suck my Swiffer. That's Fez's nickname for his Dirk. Right back. Uh. Ron and Todd.